Ursprünglich habe ich mit dieser Initially I began with this research because I was enthusiastic about computer programming. I loved being able to write a computer program that solves a particular biological problem. And to this day this is the force that drives me. Jens Meiler is a bioinformatician. His goal? Drugs that fit the patients like a tailor-made suit. This is one of the opportunities offered by his basic research. Active substances so perfectly tailored that they help better and faster, and have fewer side effects. This requires structure-based analysis, knowledge of, for example, how certain receptor proteins look, right down to the smallest molecular structure. Traditionally, many drugs have been discovered through a strategy that we would call trial and error. The idea, purposeful construction instead of chance. Structure-based analysis is the alternative. And for that, you need a model of the protein so you can design directly on the computer where exactly in my little molecule which functional group should be positioned so that it can interact optimally with the protein. In his team, molecular biologists work in close cooperation with IT specialists, chemists and physicists. They compile data from their own research and the findings of other teams. We develop computer programs that can combine all these data from different methods and then calculate a probable model for the protein. And our model is thereby resolved atomically. In the model, each atom is positioned at the most probable position, and such an atomically resolved model is needed for the development of drugs, for example. Larger protein molecules are always complexly folded. Chemical bonds between the atoms determine the spatial structure of the protein. In a computer simulation, the different folds are visualized. Even a protein with only 100 amino acids results in 3 to the power of 400 theoretical combinations, a calculation for which even a supercomputer would require many years. Myler's expertise lies in developing algorithms for the most likely folds, and he succeeds. Here in the refrigerated halls of the Vanderbilt Advanced Computing Center, 400 processors calculate with the algorithms that Myla and his team are developing. This will continue in the future. Myla wants to deepen the already existing Nashville-Leipzig cooperation after his relocation. For him and his family, it is a homecoming, one that has been long awaited. My wife is from Leipzig. She's waiting with packed bags and is happy we have the opportunity to return to Germany after such a long time. Some of the team members have already been to Leipzig for cooperation. Others now have the new adventure Germany ahead of them. But Myla doesn't just want to take members of his team with him to Germany. The biggest difference when I came to America was that you can just try things out. You don't first think about what could go wrong, but instead look at the possibilities. And that is something that I'd also like to introduce in my laboratory in Leipzig. This mentality of a risk taker, as we say here. Wir sagen hier Risk Taker ist. Going your own way. His path began here. It is a return to the roots. At this high school with a scientific focus, Wilhelm Ostwald, Myla found and deepened his love and passion for science. And to this day, he returns regularly for lectures and student projects. Back in the days when I was studying in Germany, 
A lot of importance was attached to the consuming of knowledge, that you learn things. In school, in high school, the second aspect, the producing of knowledge, is neglected. So it's really important to experiment with this ability to produce knowledge where you don't know the result. That's what should happen in school and at university. Courage and passion. These qualities have brought him to the top of his research field. In Leipzig, there are qualified research groups which are able to support his computations on an experimental level. The Humboldt professorship is important because it enables me to set up the research environment I need here in Leipzig. He plans to set up a center for the structure-based development of drugs. He hopes to take a decisive step forward in many biomedical questions. Myla's team is already providing new insights for research into Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, HIV, and cancer. The algorithms we're developing can be applied to many different pathologies. As I always tell my students, I don't care what disease you cure today, as long as you cure it.